I believe Morgan Freeman brought something to film that we had never seen before. He's got a great presence. He's a, a tall, striking man um, with a wonderful voice you know, that we've all kind of come to know so well. Whether he plays the, the chairman or the chauffeur, the president or the prisoner, it, there's a dignity, there is that benevolent smile. And you can see him think in every film he's in. He's an actor of extraordinary range. He's played just about every character you can play, including God. But I always have the sort of the, the comfort that I take from him whenever I see him on screen is the tremendous humanity that is in his eyes, that radiates from him. I find some of his roles and many of his roles to exemplify positive human values. That's what it means to me. So for example, lean on me when he plays the principal of that school. And through the force of his moral character and his focus and his discipline in a positive sense, creating an environment where learning was safe. Now, it was just a film, but in fact films are a part of the human dream. I love driving Miss Daisy. He was just absolutely terrific. When she was saying things that would put a knife in your heart, just his expression and the, his whole demeanor, and his face became so moving. Morgan's contribution to things like the Granada Relief Fund, the American Red Cross, his environmental concerns, his concerns about animals. He's one of those actors who truly uh, recognizes his social role in community. So I have this proposal. Do you all want to have a prom instead of two or three? I'll pay for it. Deal? Why exactly are you doing this? It hurts me deeply. On another level, the Morgan that shows up in uh, Prom Night in Mississippi is the real Morgan Freeman who did something remarkable in his town. Morgan's like Yoda, I mean that. And the Billy Joe character is like Luke Skywalker. It's like Morgan's uh, ethos that filters down into a younger generation through his not only generosity, but his actual desire to see the nonsense of segregated proms end in his town and elsewhere. If you look at his long list of philanthropic endeavors, education is very much top of the list. He's used his celebrity status to fight prejudice, racism, intolerance, and to promote education, scholarship, learning throughout the world. That's why he's a great person. I think that the work that Morgan Freeman is doing in places like South Africa, where my family is from, um, is really impeccable. And he's doing work to help empower and strengthen women there by giving them education. When he chooses a script, I believe that he knows that. He's looking for scripts that will educate people to the human condition, whatever it is. He's a worthy recipient of this award because, like the Hebrew University, uh, he invests in human capital. Uh, he believes that investing in individuals through, in, through education, uh, he's able to change the world. While I was there at the Hebrew University, I found that there was a lot of diversity on campus, a lot of diversity in views and people, and it was a very rewarding experience to be academically in that environment. It is an, it is an outstanding place, and I'm so proud to be associated with this wonderful institution. I think Morgan's so deserving of this award, besides being handsome and sexy, because of the work he does in education, which I've seen in Mississippi, bursaries to individuals, buying books for school libraries that don't have enough funds. Morgan Freeman is so deserving of the Key of Knowledge Award because he shares the important values to make this world the best place that it possibly can be. I have a place for it at home in my library. So if you ever come to visit, I'll make sure you can see it. Thank you.